Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. Um, I hope your kids like music and still like music. <laughs> They're now dealing with their children. Okay. I really, um, I'm so thrilled to be here today um, to really learn and meet um, new folks. Um, as the mayor had noted, I, I really consider myself a student, and I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur by accident or by circumstance. Um, really, um, because um, I got thinking about what kind of world I wanted to live in and what kind of world I wanted for my own kids. And, um, and then saw some opportunities and, and said, well, Sarah, instead of waiting for someone else to do it, where can play a role in getting involved and starting to connect the dots? Um, I really do think, in the end, it's really what, what drives all this. It's all about feeling connected, right? Feeling connected um, um, as far as our values, um, feeling connected as a community. Um, and that is a connection that, um, that really is continuous and has to do with our history, as well as our responsibility for um, how we are going to play a role in um, our connection to what's going to happen next. Um, and you know, the first thing i uh, learned when you become a mother, you become very reflective, and, and you know, as many of you um, can relate to, and you start thinking about that connection point. Um, and when it comes to history, it's kind of um, developed in me now. Whenever I start thinking about something, I think, well, let me try to think of it and look back and look forward. So when I was preparing for today, I, I really thought the first thing I had to do was um, learn a little bit about what's happening in Yonkers today. And wow, as I mentioned to the mayor, I'm, I'm blown away because it had me up for two hours last night checking out website. First talk with the history, and, and that is why I know that the Green Business Summit that's happening here with Eagle Vengeance is going to be another first and a thing that will power this community forward and will show, really be an example. Historically, I found out some pretty cool things. Um, I don't know if you all can see uh, the, the board here, but um, I must say Mr. Mayor Yonkers is cool. It is really cool. Uh, the first thing historically that I discovered is that it was founded by the first lawyer in New Netherlands. And um, also, as far as its impact early on, we're in the library that used to be the elevator, I guess the elevator factory. The first elevator safety device which eventually made modern skyscrapers possible, like the skyscrapers a few miles away, were invented here in 1854 by Alicia Graves Otis. So what does that say to me? That means we have to think about our history, what it means as far as innovation and leadership. Um, I also was online, and it was so interesting to see the exciting plans that are happening right here at Yonkers as it relates to development of the waterfront, SFC projects for downtown, urban renewal on streets just down here. And even when I got off today, I saw signs talking about water management on the sidewalks. So leadership so clearly is embedded in what Yonkers has always stood for and where it's going. So we are here now, and I really am so honored as a small business owner, not a Yonkers native, but someone who would love to support you to be a part of that next step today. So let's turn to the next slide. I have 15 <laughs> slides in total, and, and uh, this will be fun. First off, home sweet home. Here we are, and it, we, I, I already mentioned to you um, that there's a lot of interesting stuff happening here at Yonkers, in Yonkers, um, the fourth largest city in New York. Um, and also, interestingly, a nexus as it relates to transportation, um, et cetera. All that's interesting as far as potential. Um, and this is what we look like. I mean, this city is so diverse in its makeup, in um, the dreams of the people that come here, whether you live here or you have a business. It certainly is a diverse um, matrix. Um, that being said, it's also at a time um, that we are all dealing with a shift, a seismic shift in an understanding um, and how we're supposed to put it all together. Um, how can we do that with um, a sense of um, authenticity and um, how can we be measured and smart in stewarding this place and us? Um, and that really comes once again with thinking about stewardship and, and being measured. And those challenges are, are really in many ways uh, not, uh, um, in many ways they could scare some people. You say words like economic downturn and global warming and earth shortages and real estate unemployment and we all are seeing them square in the face. But I believe that when you see things and when you look at them square on and then you say, okay, where do we go from here? That is when innovation and change happen, and that is what's happened here at Yonkers since, since its inception has informed other places. So let's talk about where we are next and what it means for Yonkers. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to quote this from a trend profile that I found online from Trendwatch. Um, because now it's all about good news. I'm going to talk about good news. 
while banks are crumbling and multinationals are laying off people faster than you can say downturn, every key player from the Obama administration to the Chinese government plans to dominate the post-recession economy by going sustainable, including a heavy dose of rules and regulations. But it's not all macroeconomic geopolitical power play. A recession or not, consumers will continue to demand responsible behavior from brands. Just one statistic from Reuters, four out of five people say they are still buying green products and services today, even in the midst of a U.S. recession. Guys, that is the good news. And that is the opportunity. It's all in how we look at it. And um, I am an optimist by nature, and certainly I'm an optimist because I start a company, right? Being <laughs> a startup is a dream. Um, but I think that triangle, that sort of triangulation of how we can build and go from here is all about how you all can think in a different and in an open-minded way about how you can apply some of these trends to your businesses, to your community, to your home life, etc. So for the next 11 slides, I tried to say, okay, so pick 10 things that you think are really cool that you'd want to share with this group. Um, I, I must say, I, I'm so impressed by um, the lineup that Stephen and Ecoventions have pulled together for today. Um, you brought experts in from all different areas um, to really allow for there to be real uh, intense sessions on being able to go home with tangible things that apply to your business. So these 10 things are the big ideas and concepts to get you started um, at, as far as where I think the good news is. Okay, next slide. What is a part of this eco-bounty? Well, certainly it's about foundations. And um, that means a lot of thinking about how we're building for the future as it relates to infrastructure. The picture on the left is, I think, from a very recent New York Times magazine about infrastructure. Uh, I was interested to find out that uh, the first elevated mass transit system in the world was invented in 1867 by Yonkers resident, Charles T. Harvey. And it was financially backed by a group of Yonkers investors. Once again, the leadership proven. Infrastructure, as it relates to weatherization, retrofits, clean technology, energy audits. There has never been a time where we've had an administration and a motivation to start addressing these issue, issues. And we also have a set of guidelines and understanding about the environmental impacts that allow us to do this in a new and unique way, launching new technologies, et cetera. That is great news. And here in Yonkers, with a host of projects that cut across, one of the opportunities right there, green job core development, uh, et cetera. Environmentally, why do we care? 79% of the carbon emissions for New York City are, are the results of the construction and operation of buildings. It's tied directly, directly to the bottom line and how we can ensure a better life for our kids and our future. Life. Another piece of good news, the jobs are going to be there, the opportunity is there for a very um, piece of things. As a business owner, right here in Yonkers and beyond, there's also been a real demand for more transparency, <laughs> true understanding of what I'm buying, what am I going to get. The more you know, the more empowered you'll be to make the best decisions for your business. One example as it relates to uh, power and infrastructure is the uh, mirroring. I think that there's an event, this, there's actually a secret this afternoon coming in from Star. So it's a great time to even learn about that. Energy metering, as far as transparency, whether it's a kilowatt of home to manage, unload, and understand where that phantom load is being pulled, all the way to um, our own service providers thinking in creative, innovative ways about how they can um, incentivize uh, um, people to start um, leveraging new technologies and also incentivize it for how we manage the infrastructure of our entire cities. Um, so this is real good news, and these are opportunities once again for new business, new business training, new business in general. Next slide. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Um, our business at Green Depot, our mission is to provide um, sustainable building materials for environmental sustainable buildings that are, that are going to last forever and really be uh, gratifying. Um, obviously a big part of that is trying to find uh, sources that are nearby. Um, and one fabulous result of when I started the business that I hadn't anticipated was how many manufacturers there were out there in sort of the New York area um, that were really eager to find ways that they could reinvent their own business. And sustainability and this time is a unique opportunity for all of them to do so. I have